Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and JS question and SSS series. Today we'll see how we can able to use ChatGPT to prepare interview or to prepare for geospatial examinations. So if you are going to prepare any examinations, you can use this ChatGPT. So here we can ask some objectives question to ChatGPT like here are some objectives question we'll ask. Remote sensing techniques makes use of properties of dash dash emitted, reflected or diffracted by the sensor's object. So we'll see the answers. So answer is C, that is electromagnetic waves. So let will ask to chat GPT what the answer they are providing. So just copy and paste here. So see, it is also given electromagnetic waves. We can also ask him, can you explain? Okay. Even if you will add a wrong spelling also, it is under understanding. Okay, no problem. So these techniques make use of properties of electromagnetic waves such as visible light, infrared or radio wave that are emitted, reflected or diffracted by the objects being sensed. So they are also giving us answers about these questions. So like this, you can take any questions. Okay. You can take any questions and just you can search it on like this. If you have any doubt you can ask to chat GPT. So they will provide you answers also and descriptions also why the answer is there. This way you can prepare for an MCQ type of questions, but also you can prepare for examination like a long answers. Okay. Like you can ask him. So any questions you can ask him. So like what is geostationary satellite? A geostationary satellite is a type of earth orbiting satellite that remain in a fixed position relative to specific location on the earth's surface. Okay. So they are saying that it is approximately 36,000 kilometer above the earth equator. So you can ask him and a subjective question. You can ask him an objective questions. So you can use this to prepare your examinations, but sometimes you have to check they are providing accurate answers or not. Sometimes it is also providing some misleading answers. So you have to cross check with it. Also, you can prepare for the interview. Okay. How I can prepare my geospatial interview. Okay. So preparing a geospatial interview can involve several steps like researching the company. First, we have to do the research of the company where you are going to give your interview. Then they are saying all the different things what you have to do then you need to brush up your knowledge then they will ask about your uh, what projects you have did previously so all these things they will ask so according to that you have to prepare from yourself so you can ask him what is common question okay what is geospatial common question which are asked in the examination Okay, so during a geospatial interview, you may be asked a variety of questions related to your skills. Okay, like can you tell us about your experience with a specific software or technology? So this way they will ask, might be ask you what is you have, what experience you have, how do you approach problem solving in geospatial projects? Can you give an example of a project you work on and the role you play it? So you can ask him. How to answer this? How to answer this question? So they will give you when answering this question, it is important to produce specific examples of how you have used the software or technology in questions in your previous work experience. So here, this way you can provide an answer. So this way you can ask him an objective question you can ask him and subjective question also you can ask him for the interview preparations any questions you can ask so chat gpt will give you answers so if you like the answers you can use it so if you want to know how to prepare account and all that i have already prepared a video you can watch this how to use chat gpt by open ai to solve a geospatial problems this is a video also you can able to watch and here I have already explained you how you can able to prepare for interview or objective type of questions. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.